Okay, to get started, let's mix the acrylic paint that we're going to use. I'm using Earth Safe Finishes acrylic paint. It comes in jars like this or bottles like this, and but it's exactly the same product. I have it in a rather large icky looking jar. I'm using a spoon to just take a glob out and put in a smaller container here. And then I'm going to mix a few drops of Fabric Magic with it. The Fabric Magic is also Earth Safe Finishes and it's a textile meeting, medium and I'm just putting a few drops in. Uh, the textile medium makes the mixture um, pliable so once it's on the fabric it won't crack and um, uh, it makes it easier to stitch through. So we'll mix this up and that's what we're going to um, base the uh, fabric with. We are working on 100% cotton uh, twill. I like the twill because it's very durable. Uh, the uh, weave of the fabric will put up with a lot of wear and tear. I'm just getting a scoop of the paint on the paintbrush and just kind of slapping it around. The goal is not to create um, an even uh, coverage like you would with gesso on a canvas. We are just putting this on as um, a background. And I'm going to do this unevenly over the entire surface of the fabric. To prepare the paint for the flowers, I'm going to take a scoop of this paint mixture and put it in a separate container and save the white for later. And we're going to use the colorant. The colorant, um, Earth Safe Finishes colorants, are liquid um, pigments that act like dyes. And it comes in a childproof cap, which is always annoying, but uh, there we go. It comes in a dropper bottle, and we're going to add just, oh, let's add two drops. This stuff is really concentrated, so you don't, it doesn't take much to mix the color that we want. And you see we have a nice pastel -y, oh, let's add just one more drop there, make it a little more vivid. There we go. And now we're ready to paint. The background paint is still wet, which is fine, and I'm just taking, picking up scoops of the uh, lavender paint that we mixed and making round-ish round blossoms that will become our flowers. Right now it just looks like a blob, doesn't it? Now, because I don't really know how to paint, I can kind of do what I want to do and nobody uh, can tell me that I'm wrong. Um, I am going to put a couple of drops on one of our gushes and I'm going to swoosh it around. That begins to make the shading on each one of the, the blossoms. And you can see it's pretty concentrated. I only needed those two drops to get things going. Now each one will look slightly different and that's fine because in nature each one of the uh, blossoms will look different too. Okay, now to add the highlights, I'm using the white paintbrush and swooping in here and just adding a little blending until I get an image that I kind of like. And I'm going to add some around the outside too. And now they're going to be looking like they're overlapping, which is what I wanted. You can see that uh, lavender is tinting the white around the outside, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, now I have a little string of flowers there. A 
as you can see, I've added some more flowers along uh, this vine, and um, I've taken that little cup of white acrylic paint mixture that we had, and I've thinned it down a little bit, because the last thing we're going to do before we let this dry is uh, to splatter some white paint around on top of the um, the flowers, um, actually the whole surface, and uh, it flicks better if it is uh, thinned down just a little bit. Now, you don't want to get it so thin that it runs, but um, just a little bit thinner than what it is out of the jar, and uh, ne the next step will be letting it dry and then stitching. Okay, our panel is dry now, and I've backed it with a fusible fleece to give it some body and to support the stitches. And we're now ready um, to go to the sewing machine. I've dropped the feed dogs on the sewing machine and fitted, uh, replaced the uh, presser foot with a darning foot or a free motion foot. And I have a solid color purple thread in the top and a neutral in the bottom. And we're just going to, this is one of my favorite parts of the project. We're going to add some detail and some definition with free motion stitches. Spiraling into the center and then back out. variegated thread if you want to. I really like this solid purple, so I use it frequently. And you can add as much or as little stitching as you want to. There are no rules. I like to let the lines overlap sometimes. Flowers done. All the flowers have been stitched now. You can see some of the detail. Notice the circles, the concentric circles in here are not perfect. They're not perfectly round. And the center, or what would be the center of the flower, varies from blossom to blossom. That's to give it some variety and to make it look um, random as it would in real life. I replaced the purple thread in the upper sewing machine with the variegated green and now I'm adding free motion leaves and tendril shapes. The free motion stitching is finished on the panel now. We have purple blossoms and some green leaves and uh, tendrils. I've finished the edges with a satin stitch that's 4.5 millimeters wide and 0.6 meters long. It makes a nice frame and a nice finished edge. We're almost done now, just need to stitch up the sides. Stitching up the sides is really easy. We're just using a plain straight stitch, nothing fancy, and going through all the layers. Be sure and anchor at the beginning and the end of the seam so you have a good sturdy side seam. Okay, now the other side.
and we're done. This video was from several years ago. I'm not sure why I didn't include a picture of the completed clutch bag, but it was uh, just a rectangular bag with a flap, and um, I made 27 of them as Christmas gifts. They were awesome. I'm putting some notes in uh, the comments below uh, about the needle size and what I use to, um, to prevent skip stitches. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It obviously isn't um, the swiping video uh, that I wanted to show you, but I'll get that up as soon as possible. In the meantime, I hope you like it. Please click the like button and the subscribe button and visit EarthSafe Finishes. I put a link in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more examples of uh, the work, check my uh, website, www.studiobethshan.com. Happy painting!